What if he wanted to talk about negotiations? Then? What if he oh, wanted no, to you said Supreme Court. I don't quite <laughs> Well, okay. you can't leave that hanging. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just real quick, um, t two matters on the Supreme Court. There, while you were away, um, there were reports about the wife of Justice Thomas uh, and texts that she had with former White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. Should Justice Thomas recuse himself from any cases involving the January 6th insurrection or former President Trump at this point? I'd leave that to two entities. Okay, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, ask the second question. No, two entities, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> One, the January 6th committee and two, the Justice Department. That's their judgment, not mine to make. So, on Justice Thomas recusing, you don't think he should, or? I'm not, I'm, I said that, I told you, those things get into legal issues. That in fact, I told you I would not tell the Justice Department what position to take or not take. And I'm not gonna instruct the Congress either. And did you get any chance to watch much of the Judiciary Committee here. I didn't get a chance to see any of it, unfortunately. Um, the fact that Republicans were questioning Judge Jackson on matters like former sentences related to child pornography cases or the definition of a woman, does that, as the former chairman of the Judiciary Committee, make sense to you? Look, this is one of the most qualified nominees ever nominated for the Supreme Court in every respect, in terms of her disposition, her intellectual capacity, her experience and background, and serving on two, three additional courts, a woman who is totally, thoroughly qualified, totally, thoroughly qualified, and will be a great addition to the court in my view. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.